Welcome back everybody, I hope you guys are all ready. We are going to be doing some pier building, some salmon fishing, and also a little bit of passenger transporting today. Some weird things, all kind of related in some way to the water, and I hope uh, I hope we can hopefully show some real cool ideas today in terms of getting some piers with the brand new 1.13 blocks. That's my goal at least, and I'm sure we're going to be doing quite well. That was not the salmon fishing either, by the way. We, we may have just coincidentally got a salmon, but that's not the salmon I was looking for. I'm looking for a very special, very particular type of salmon with a uh, very particular sort of name. Uh, and maybe maybe a few of them as well. well. We'll get to that in some time. Now, by the way, we, we finished off last episode with doing a bit of that stuff. I've pretty much... Uh, well, not immediately after that episode started, but I've, I've pretty much not done anything since the last episode in this world besides plotting out a map, which now I should... I mean, I went I went through quite a few places. Uh, there we go. I think it'll be this map. Look at this. Uh, I plotted out an entire map. So that was the second map we did on the last one. I thought, you know what? I've got a bit of time, I'm just gonna go around and, and go plot it out, and th that was pretty good. Uh, besides that, while I was going through, I got a lot of cool treasure. Just little things around there, you can see all the treasure maps, and not only that, we have got ourselves, where is it? Oh wait, it's in my inventory, That's, that would be why I didn't find it. A Nautilus shell, how cool is that? So our very first Nautilus shell, that was through uh, fighting off a drown that was holding it. And now, finally, we've got one. I, I kind of wish, it, you know what, here's, here's the, the first Jancy thought of the day. How cool would it be if I just stood here and right-clicked and it made, like, a big, like, uh, boat horn sound? I don't know. Just to sound like that with the uh, with this Nautilus shell. I feel like it should be able to be uh, be blown through, but that's all right. That's just, that's just, that's just the thought I had. You know what I mean? It's just what I was thinking. So, let's go ahead. I've got everything on me, I think, that we need to be able to start this brand new pier and and by the way uh, the idea of today is is because of your guys ideas in the comment section so what i what i asked was what would you guys like to see and overwhelmingly people said a fishing village and i wasn't really on board with the fishing village idea 100 now i'm still not 100 on board with it just being a fishing village but i i think it's a good place to start maybe maybe it was obvious obviously to to everybody that we should be using the the fishing the docks the 1.13 all this new stuff we've got so much good stuff around us we've got water we've got everything near us that's telling us Listen, we got to do a fishing village. I think you guys are right. And uh, I, hopefully today we will be able to get this to some satisfactory fishing village level. So apparently, here's something I didn't realize. I kept pressing control, which I think is still putting me into swimming mode. But uh, apparently, double tapping W. See, if I go control, that was me holding control. And that seemed to work quite all right. But apparently, double tapping W also does it. But... I'm still gonna- I'm still gonna end up running- trying to run anyway. That was just something I've- I've found out recently. So let's go out a little bit more this way. And I- I guess really it's- it's just the- the new 1.13 stuff. So we're going out with this deck, and by the way, I've- I've got a really cool idea. I want to show you guys something. We were speaking about it a bit earlier in the series, and I need to get your thoughts on this. So prepare yourselves. We- we're not gonna be doing it just yet, but prepare yourselves for- for when I do uh, drop it on you guys. Uh, but here we go. That distance, good. We're not trying to go too big. This is going to be a reasonably small dock, and it's not going to have too many crazy things going on with it just yet. Actually, maybe, let's, you know what, let's just go a little bit more. We'll go out two more. All right. And here, what I want to do is I want to go and get in the new textured blocks, being these trap doors, which means now, instead of us having to texture these with a vastly different colored blocks, we can keep some reasonably similar colors of textures, or uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it, tones. You know, here, here's something funny. Despite me being a, a reasonably creative person in terms of Minecraft and stuff like that, I'm actually terrible with, with art. <laughs> with anything to do with drawing or photographs or anything like that, I'm actually downright pathetic, really, with with my knowledge on that stuff, so, uh, maybe, maybe someone can enlighten me on things, but I, I feel like it's, I guess it's tones, uh, similar sorts of tones in here that you can really work with. I didn't want this to be a, a pattern, look, you can see almost, almost a pattern, so we'll, we'll do that there, and just texture this place up, which is something which we are trying to do in this world, add some more textures, and, and play around with texturing to create things a bit more interestingly. That was not what I wanted. What I did want was one of these, in over here, but not that variety, that variety. And I know it looks kind of funny when you put it down, but trust me, when you get these things all working together, they look magical. I, I don't know if this necessarily is going to be the magical one, but it could very well be, and we, we need to know it. And let's also put in some, yeah, some of those there. 
the dark oak and get a beautiful little thing. So here is another thought of what we're doing today. I mentioned we are going to be doing pier building. Uh, we are going to be doing a bit of salmon fishing. Trust me, you guys are going to love the salmon fishing. I think it's a really neat idea. Also use the 1.13 thing in more ways than one. Let me tell you this way. So what do you guys think it is? I know what everyone's thinking. You guys are kind of right, but not 100%. In fact, you know what? I just need to do this. Just, just for my own sake. Just knowing that they all come from the top side over here. Well, just it'll just make me sleep a little bit better at night knowing that so there we go uh, But yeah, there, there are some really cool things that I think we're gonna be doing with some salmon and with 1.13 textures So prepare well, the textures uh, ideas Functions features things that exist in this game right now So that's the other thing and then the other the other other thing was some passenger transport wait I'm not holding shift. I thought yeah, I am holding shift. Why is this not doing anything? There we go There we go Cool. And there and there. So, some cool things that have happened. Of course, now we can put blocks in the water and we can not have blocks looking super ugly with these air patches. Uh, but uh, trust me, you guys have got some cool stuff. But the passenger transport thing, I was thinking about this. And this village that we've got here, I'm, I actually did mention in the last village. We don't have a farmer villager to tend to those crops that we've got in there to grow some new super strong, super cool, hopefully mending librarian villages in this village. So what I was thinking is, I think it's about time we, we deal with a bit of village immigration and we can see if we can maybe work in a farmer village into this uh, this village, or at least just a brown coated villager. That's all I really do want. Just someone who can harvest all of the, the crops that we need harvested. And look at this, look at this. This is a responsible, a responsible chance uh, right here. I'm gonna be using my dumb pickaxe to be able to do this. All right, there we go. And one, two, and one of these guys on the top, bam, like that. And I'm pretty confident with what we got here. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'll be completely honest with you guys. When I heard about 1.13 and I saw the, I saw this block over here. Well, not this one, the, the, this one right here, the spruce trap door. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew exactly what I had to do. And I know exactly what I've done wrong here, which is go one too many up to that side there. Whoa. Whoa. That, you, does that count as a ghost block? I don't know. I thought they were fixed. Just saying. But I know it's not the same thing. But still, that was kind of weird what just happened to us there. Uh, so what I want to do now that we've got this, let's just get rid of this one more here. I'm probably going to put two more pillars in. Uh, oh, come on. Go down quicker. There we go. Hold shift. It works faster. And one more after this. We're going to just take damage. Oh, wait. Two more after this. And you know what? That one can stay there. We'll do this here quickly just to see how it works. And I need... I need ender pills. The reason I didn't do this one higher is I, I want this to be also a very small town. So I, I think if we go one too tall, it's just not going to work. Yep. Different, different angles. You see that? It's going to really annoy some people, but it's going to also really please others because they, they're going to know that we didn't just use everything in a symmetrical texture. Am I, am I swimming? I am. I feel like it's very slow. <laughs> It's such a derpy look. Honestly, it is, but I love it. All right, that, that's pretty cool. You see that? So we've managed to get these in. A few other cool things which we can do, and this is where I really, really need ender pills right now. Let me out through here. Is we can, we can go in here and make these look like they are rope tied around here, and I think that just adds a little bit more to it. Just, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. In fact, these would be really cool in, in some, like, uh, Castle builds, I think, just to add ropes hanging from the ceiling. If we can get them to work in, that would look real neat. Yeah, just something under there. It, it breaks it up, makes it look a little bit more interesting. That is fantastic. All right, while we're, while we're busy with this, the sun actually is about to go down, which is great. I can go and do some fishing on here. And then what I want to do is, before we carry on with this dock, and before I show you that super, super cool little thing that I, I think is pretty cool. Take it this way. I think it's a pretty cool function that maybe not everyone's familiar with, but... It's, uh, we'll go get this villager, and then I'll go figure out what we want to do. These fish just look like they're looking at my boba. They do. I, 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 I'm suspicious of these fish. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the plan for today. Villager finding time. All right, so this is kind of like the, I said we were hunting salmon or fishing salmon. This is fishing or hunting villagers right now. I've gone to the village that we found in, I think, the first or second episode, and there were no brown coats there either. And then I remembered, while, while we were doing the map, is I actually... 
shot. Oh, uh, <laughs> that actually gave me a fright there. I, I actually overshot my my mark, and I ended up going over here while I was just like going doing that map thing. And I saw this in the distance. I haven't actually explored it just yet. I was like, you know, this will be a great thing to one day when we need to go find something to do during an episode. We can go here. And you know what? Look at that. Look at that. Straight ahead of us. A brown-coated villager. What have you got? You're an armorer. You're just a nitwit. And in here... Ah, that's not too bad. I mean, hey, we, we actually don't have a horse. I, I've... <laughs> I, I got rid of them very quickly, I guess. Uh, but this is actually a pretty neat little village, all on the water. This, you know what? Maybe, maybe when we, we could have like a village upgrading part of the world, and we can also have our own villages in the world. I think that would be real neat. Just uh, do some upgrades. And oh, there's some bookshelves. Fantastic. Um, I'm sorry, guys, but uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking these for myself. And a, oh yes, ah, oh, cartographer. Not really as cool as I thought it was, but that's all right. And I guess I could really be using, I could be using my silk touch, but I know, I know, I know, I'm not efficient, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. So jump. No, let's try it again. All right. So jump. And was that also a brown coat villager? We are in very good luck. It's a fisherman as well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this fisherman over here and I'll tell you why. Because if I can get my, hand on, my hands on string, this guy is going to be super, super useful. So hopefully they come out. Come on out, villager. Come on out. All right. You know what? I'm going to just block this guy in here for a second. I'll see what this guy is. If this guy is a fisherman, great. If not, I think it, I'm going to guess. Okay. Well, I'm going to guess it's a farmer. You see, that's what I was talking about. The weird. Okay. It's a, oh, even a better trade on, on that. I will take you with me, Mr. Villager. You, you're, I know exactly where you're going. All right. So this is where we, we take our time and move this villager apart. Can I go through there? No, we can't. Okay, good thing I checked that. So this is how we how yeah, this is the future of villager transport. This is this is how it looks, guys. It's uh it's a bright, bright future ahead of us in the villager transporting industry. My head's going backwards. I feel like that's looking super freaky. Alright, onward. We will see you guys at the village. Look at that village as we're coming in, starting to turn out so, so well. All these little things. You know, I, I wasn't really sold on that little area we did there in the last episode. But it, over time, it's actually going to, I think, at least, with my my plans, my ideas, I think it's going to actually turn out quite good. Do I jump up onto this when I... Yeah, I do. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's just something cool to know. Either way, this guy is actually going to be coming out that way. There we go. And I'll help you out into the correct di distance or direction. Sorry, not distance. The correct direction, buddy. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. No, no, no. I feel like this guy's stuck on his old village. Because he just seems to be facing the old way. I'm, I'm going to maybe, hopefully, hopefully he kind of blends in with the rest of this village. Seems like he's walking that direction. Come on. We'll walk together. I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah, definitely. Definitely walk this way. Now... Integrate, become personable. That better not be a brown coat. Okay, it is. I was gonna say that. That's crazy. And and they seem to be getting. Ah, oh, how long do we have left on this? Mining fatigue for another minute. Okay, it it is overwhelming. It is. But but look at it. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So hopefully this guy starts harvesting some stuff, and then we'll we'll be able to actually get some villages around this place. Now. Once we, well, actually, we need a bucket for, for all the things that I want to do. So I'm going to go and get this bucket. I'm also going to probably get another one over there. Two more buckets because we got this free iron. And there, what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to get ourselves some salmon in a bucket. And I know you guys are like, well, I, I saw that coming, Jesse. You said 1.13 stuff. This is not new, but there is something a little bit new about what we're doing with these things and uh, and hopefully at that stage hopefully by the time we get to it you guys will be like that's a pretty cool looking thing because I, I was this was this was actually this is what we're about to do is courtesy of me messing around in snapshots and i thought about this i was like i've got this i've got this idea so just hold up we'll, we'll get there actually do i have a saddle for a horse i think it would be advisable for me to get a horse somewhere here and also we don't have our flame thing anymore so what we need first of all is we need a bit of milk from a cow, preferably. That should get rid of our mining fatigue. Gone, perfect. And now what we need to do is we need to find ourselves a river to try and find ourselves a few salmon, you see, because they are, they are, I, I, I don't know, actually, honestly, I don't know why I chose salmon, but I feel like salmon would be, it would be the kind of fish you would be catching. Uh, and, and besides that, out of all the fish, like all the, the flavors of fish, salmon seems to be, uh, uh, debatably, I know, 
uh, the, the more flavorsome, I think. So how do I find a salmon? I haven't seen them in the ocean. So I'm, I'm guessing they would be inland in, in rivers. That's my thought, at least. In my, in my old world, when I updated that to 1.13, uh, that was where I saw them, in my inland rivers. So if I... Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> my river's in the ocean. That, that is not a thing that exists. Uh, but hopefully, if we just keep going far enough, we should eventually come across a river... If not, the only other place that I remember seeing vill uh, rivers on this world was on the island that's just across the water from our, our base that we're in. So I'm going to just do a loop, and if I come across one, I'll do it. I don't think they would spawn in these in inland little lakes, would they? Nah. I I'm, I'm assuming they're river biome specific, which seems to make sense. That that's not a big deal. So hopefully we'll be coming across some salmon real, real soon. And I hardly had to travel at all. We were just on the other side of that, that hill. And I was like, you know what? What is this here? It's a river. And I was right. They do spawn in rivers. Now, this is my first time ever catching a fish in a bucket. So I'm not too sure how it works. Okay, that was just a bucket of water. Maybe I have to go up to the fish underwater. No. Nope. And there. Really? Oh, maybe I need water in the bucket. Ah, ha, ha. That makes sense. Okay, you can't, can't really catch just a fish without the water. And there we go. Three bucket of salmon, and I'm pretty sure if I put these back in the water, the, it, well, I know from creative menu that that works. I don't know if it works in survival. I'm, I'm going to assume it does. Let's, let's, I, I'm 99% sure, and, and I haven't actually tested it in survival, but I'm 99% sure that this is going to work. And we're not actually very far from our village. Yeah, that, that little mountain there, we can see from our village. So it's, it's literally just over this hill. There's our horse. So once we've got... I think I've got a saddle. I'm pretty sure I've found a saddle somewhere. Once we've got that saddle, we'll come back here and, and grab ourselves a horse. That'll, that'll just make our life so much easier running around on land. That is a beautiful mountain range. I, I'm actually kind of excited to, to mess around with that eventually. There's there's just so, so much cool stuff you could do with that. So let's see. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is well worth it. We'll, we'll do... Let's go cinematic camera and everything so we can move slowly just to, to watch that. Look at that. Picture, picture those houses on either side of that being built up, looking amazing and, and kind of similar to the other one with the roof and, and keeping to the smooth roof or a curved roof feel. I think that's going to look so darn good. Man, this is exciting. This is, this is a village. What are we, episode six, I think? I don't, I don't actually know. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But if I'm right, I'm, uh, I'm pretty glad that I'm right. So let's see, actually, before we go any further, where is my friendly... Farmer villager or fishing villager. Where is he? Actually, kind of appropriate that I've got a fishing villager. Is that nah? Is that it? No. Oops. Uh, down there, I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah. I, why not just trample on all of them? No, nope, that's not. <laughs> oh my god. I've I've just done a terrible thing there. All right, we'll find him somewhere. It's not a big deal. So oh, here we go. Is this no? Ah, oh, there you are. You're in the you're. This is, this is the Toolsmith's place, man. So we can rename these and I'm going to be re renaming them over some of my uh, famous, my famous, my favorite cartoon characters while growing up. And they are, they are super different names. So prepare yourselves. But the, the I used to watch a lot of Cartoon Network and, uh, and these, these were the guys that uh, used to keep me, well, a lot, like not an excessive amount, but that I'm saying like these, these were the, this was the... My, some of my favorite cartoon characters. I used to have a lot. I used to love uh, love Cartoon Network, but this these are my guys. So I've got a plan for these, uh, which we, we do need to get ourselves some other things. And the other things are some nets to be catching these things in. And and preferably, I honestly would prefer to be able to have lobsters in the game. I know that's that's a very, uh, a very like, big ask, but could you imagine having lobsters in the game? You could have little lobster pots catching lobsters that would be so super cool. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll do that and we'll make one more just to make me feel a little bit better about keeping like everything used. And then I guess the other thing we need is some oak fence. Yes, that, that's about it. That, that's about all we need. So what I was thinking is to decorate this, uh, what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of a, a net or a fishing area. Oh, the, the sun's about to go down, but that's all right. A little bit of a, fish, a fishing area where... This over here is like a little bait for these things. And look how good that is now that we can go underwater with these. Yeah, I think um, I think I might just do it over here so we can actually see it. So can I just, I'll just stand on the ground 
and do that. Yep, cool. Well worth it. There we go. And then I think what I'll also just do very quickly is I might just go catch some rest once we've done this. We okay, well, yeah, take the damage. That's fine. Oh, actually, no, no, this can't be my first death. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. All right, I kept touching the wrong button. All right, I'll be back. And that was so super irresponsible of me. I should, I should have been watching my oxygen. But I, I, you know what? I, I think I'm pretty sure this is this is just some thoughts that the oxygen goes down or the the bubbles. Let's just call them bubbles because it's Minecraft. The, the bubbles go down way quicker in 1.13. I don't know. I I just feel maybe it's maybe it's just a matter of them uh, messing around a little bit, but like. Being a bit different, but still, they take they take their time to refill. So here's the cool thing that I found out is that if you do this little design, you can put a fish in here, and it doesn't leave. Look at that, and you, and also you can name tag fish. That's another thing. But they they can't leave, so you can put them in there, and you can have fish caught in this. And not not only that, like look at this. Uh, oh, we can't catch a dolphin. That would be pretty neat. Actually, I'd, I'd like to name tag. I want to. This is my thought at least. I want to do a, like, you know those conservation program things that you, you see in, in the real world where they, they tag sharks and tag dolphins? I want to do that, where you can actually go around in the game. Oh, give me that. I'll take them. Uh, we go around in the game tagging with name tags dolphins that they don't despawn. And while you're going around, you find random dolphins around the place that are, that are name tagged. I think that would be such a neat thing to do. I, I don't know. That's just, that's just my thought. But I, I thought that would be a real neat thing to, to play around with. So here's the other thing that I want to do, which is around here, and, and this isn't even the cool thing. I, I forgot. I'm going to show you guys my, my cool other idea, which uh, you best best be prepared for. So it's, uh, it's not coming up right now. In fact, this over here, I'm just going to be a bit different. And I told you we'd go through them. Look at that. Only 15 left. You would be going through that spruce like crazy. There. So if we do that in there, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to actually despawn. But we can put all these these in a bucket, and we can fill an entire bucket up. And can I swim over there? We can, we can get a bunch of them. Like, look at that. There's a whole school of fish over there. And we can fill up this and have a whole bucket of fish. And I, I know the tail's sticking out. But, uh, um, can that go through? There we go. Okay. They, they stay there. I, I think they might despawn, but that's not a big deal. I'm not actually... I haven't played around with fish mechanics enough to know that. But here's the other cool thing, all right? So I've, I've been tipped off on the idea well, that now that there are some new things, there are, there are a few new things with textures in this game, which as I say, I mentioned in the beginning of this series that we're going to play around with the textures a little bit as long as they stick to the Minecraft feel. I'm still good with it. I'm still good to maybe maybe put a little bit of a swing onto this and by maybe, I mean I definitely, I definitely want to do a little bit of a swing onto some stuff and this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing around with our first texture Improvement, I like to think of it as an improvement nonetheless, and we need This many over here, and I guess we won't get all of them done. We'll just do we'll just do 32 for now I really don't need that many I'm being I'm being a little bit a little bit hasty with this We'll put these away here. I was gonna do a full stack and we'll just put them away Cool, so what we want is we want these over here these note blocks now what I've been tipped off on and let's just go here Let's just stop stop or stomp really and we'll also do that over there, like that. What? That broke. Okay, cool. Yeah, blocks are blocks are actually acting weird. This this uh, this update. I think we all can agree on that one. There's some weird weird nonsense going on in this game, but that's alright. And what's going on here? What what are you doing? We'll just do that, that, and that, and that should surely fix it. Really? Okay, cool. That was that was an odd thing. We'll just let those blocks fly up to the top and we'll get them eventually. So here's here's what it is. If we put that down there, Minecraft note block, instrument base, note zero. If we right click, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way up to 24. And then it restarts. But we can change those, and we can also change instrument base. So we can change it if, say, for instance, we pick it up here and we put it on sand. It'll be now instrument snare. 
if we pick it up and we put it onto gravel, I think it goes a little bit different. Oh, snare as well on gravel. Uh, but if we put it on nothing, for instance, let's just put it on nothing, put nothing in be in below it. It's a harp. You see, we can change all those. We can change all of their pitches. And every single one of them will have a different, as far as I'm aware, a different texture if we, if we put our textures different. Actually, this dolphin's busy shooting everything around. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not even upset if I lose that block to a dolphin shooting it everywhere with its nose all... What is it? It's not shooting. It's just pushing it everywhere with its nose. That's a real one. That's a real cool uh, add-on to the game. So here we go. This is what it looks like right now. I'm not going to move. And I've got some ideas. And, and before you guys get too crazy with it, I'll explain to you what's going on. There we go. So that is the change that I'm planning to do for a few things. Just a few little changes using the current Minecraft blocks being these. I've managed to merge in those with a bit of prismarine. And I know it's a kind of odd thing and I totally get it. It's, it's really boring and uh, well, not boring, but it's really subtle and it's not very big. But what I want to do is I don't want to go far away from whatever Minecraft is. I want to stick within the realm of the game and I want to use textures that currently exist being these. Merge them in with maybe a little bit of a color change just so that they don't look exactly the same and use other blocks being these blocks over here Like that you see that if we if we merge these in sorry, I got distracted. I was surprised I was making noise uh, But if we use it for instance with prismarine say for instance, we had a prismarine block You could maybe put some other blocks say for instance you packaged well I guess sand's not really a block you you take around, but maybe prismarine's a, a very rare block that you want to move around, or you could pretend it's fish. Still using the same blocks, for instance, being prismarine that we pretend would be fish in the game, and using them to go around like that, and we can maybe make different variants on these ones, because now we've got the opportunity with the different notes to do that. How cool would that be? Although I haven't yet quite figured it out. I, uh, I mean, I'm sure someone out there in the comment section is probably well, well, well more versed than me in this. So if you guys do have some cool thoughts on that, let me know if you guys know how, how it's working. I've, I've played around with the block states stuff. It, it just seems to not be working too well for me. Maybe there's a 1.13 error or something like that uh, currently, but that's the plan at least. So we'd have a whole bunch of these that we can change as, as we go through the different notes. And of course, let me know what you guys think about it. I, I think it's a real neat thing. And I'm just going to play around with this over here at the end. As if these have been delivered. Like that. Maybe, maybe not that many. But you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So that that's pretty much what I was thinking about for this doc. So let's just take a step back and have a look at it. Yeah, that's cool. I think this might be a bit too much of the same sort of stuff. We can always play around with that idea. The reason I did that was because I knew that what was going to happen is we're going to have stuff like this. Where the bottom looks like that. It might not even be that bad, but I just thought that could be a cool little a little change for us to do. Uh, but either way, I thought the note block thing was was a worthwhile mention. Because I think a lot of people probably don't even know that's a thing. And uh, I think it's something that's very powerful for us that we can use in the future. And it will just make this world so much more lively. And I'll stop that as well, because that's going to get annoying real soon. <laughs> uh, but for today, guys, I think we have successfully built a pier said pier. We have also found a villager, being the, the farming villager. We have also got ourselves a cool little texture change, as well as whatever else I said we were going to do. I think it was that the... Ah, the salmon. That's right. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Lovely. So, thank you very much for joining me here today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and before I go, as per usual, guys, thank you so much for the crazy cool support on not only this series, but just the videos in general on my channel. It's uh, It means a lot to me making videos, and of course, it's awesome just to see that everyone's enjoying it and having a good time. So, thank you very, very much for that. For that. Very much for that, guys. Uh, but that's all for today, guys, and I've missed my fish. I'll see you guys very, very soon.